Good evening, good evening, good evening, NDOPW family. Good evening, good evening, good evening. It's good to have you with us this evening. It's, it's such a delight to see people coming in promptly and wanting to be with us early this evening. As you uh, come in, uh, do uh, turn your cameras on if you're able. Do turn your, your cameras on. It's good to, to have you with us. Uh, everybody is muted as you as you uh, log in. So if you're suddenly thinking, I can't unmute myself to say hello. Everybody is, is muted, but it's a real delight to have you with us. Do turn your cameras on if you are able. It's good to to see a, a screen full of smiling faces on this, what seems warm uh, Wednesday evening in, in Bedford. Certainly the sun is definitely shining through the window. So I hope uh, wherever you are this evening, wherever you're logging in from across the aisles, that you are, are, are well and that you've had a, a good day. Thank you to the, those of you who've uh, been in touch, those of you who've uh, shared what the Lord's been saying to you as we've been uh, having these three days, which is coming uh, to an end and Pastor Jonathan's got some things he wants to share with us this evening he's back uh, from King's Park in Northampton so uh, uh, just making sure that I thought I was going to get a phone call saying Adam I'm stuck somewhere on a motorway somewhere on a motorway yeah uh, but he isn't he's back he's at home um, after this he's going on to lead his own church uh, Bible study group but it's a real delight to see people logging in and if you're new for the first time this evening a very special welcome um, if you want to bring greetings or just say hello, just uh, please feel free to, to use the chat during our, our meeting this evening. We're expecting some new people this evening because Pastor Jonathan last night encouraged us to invite uh, people in our churches, in our networks to come and join this call. So if you're, you're new and you want to raise just your digital hand or give a wave just to let us know that you're, you're new this evening, it'd be good to, to say hello to you. For those of you who don't know who I am, many of you will, but for those of you who don't, uh, my name is Adam May and I'm uh, part of the leadership team along with uh, Pastor Jonathan and Carl Brettel for the National Day of Prayer and Worship. And it's a, a real joy uh, that we each week are, are calling people across these aisles to stand in, in prayer, but also in unity. So that's why it's good to, to have the aisles united together. Do uh, let us know. Ooh, Ray's put in the chat. Yes, it's sunny and shiny. Uh, where he is so that's good that's nice to to know that it's sunny and shiny where he is i i suddenly thought i, I might need to move my camera so that it, it was sunny and so that you didn't have a complete shine on my face because it was really shy really sunny and really shiny when i uh, uh logged in this evening but it's good to have people with us uh 78 now people logging in it's good we had uh 122 people on monday and 158 people last night so we'll see who else is uh who else is going to join us as we begin? It's just a little after seven. Uh, Pastor Jonathan's going to share with us some stuff in a minute. Um, and But we're going to hope to be finished just after half past. Uh, for those of you that are saying I need to go off and do other things this evening. We are back here tomorrow night. So for those of you that are logging in for the first time, if you want to come and join us tomorrow evening, come and join us at seven o'clock tomorrow evening because Pastor Jonathan is going to share again tomorrow night, but we're going to live stream it. This meeting is being recorded, but we're going to live stream uh, tomorrow night's meeting uh, for people, for pastors and church leaders. I'm going to ask you again, because I saw, I thought I'd seen uh, a couple of hands go up and um, things. I, If you're new this evening and this is the first time you're joining us on the National Day of Prayer and Worship, you are welcome. But if it is, I'd love to say hello to you as we get started. So either raise your digital hand or I'll flick across my screens and see if anybody's waving. Is anybody new this evening? Anybody joining us for the, the first time? Anybody wanting to raise? Roger Knight. Good to have you with us, Roger, for joining us for the first time. Anybody else joining us new tonight uh, for the first time? Gail, good to have you uh, with us. Vanessa, too. It's good to have you uh, with us. If you're just logging in, we're now just over 100 people joining us uh, please let me encourage you to put your camera on um, so we can see you thank you to those of you who spotted my deliberate mistake in this morning's e-news so for those that get our NDOP newsletter if you clicked on the video you'll have got Monday's uh, meeting but if you want to go back and watch last night's meeting let me encourage you to go to uh, youtube.com and put into the search bar National Day of Prayer and Worship, and you'll find the video that says day two, and there is a playlist. So uh, please let me encourage you to go and watch both night one and night two, particularly if like Vanessa 
or, or Gail or Rob uh, or Roger, you are new this evening. Let me encourage you to go back and watch what we've been doing all week because we really sense the Lord has been speaking to us over the course of these last three days. We're going to we're 125 now with some people still in the, the waiting room. Thank you to people that are bringing blessings from all over the country. I'm excited uh, tonight that uh, Pastor Jonathan is going to be able to share something that we've been talking about as a, a leadership team for a couple of weeks. And tonight we're going to start to begin to, to share some more detail. So I'm going to go and let more people in. But without much more ado, Pastor Jonathan, I'm going to hand over to you. Pastor Jonathan, are you there? Yes. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Adam. And um, good evening, everyone that is um, logging on. Thank you for joining us tonight. God bless you. And those that are joining us um, via um, um, Zoom or from wherever you're, you're logging on, we want to thank you. We are not going to be streaming live. We are, we are going to be keeping this in-house. And so we're only sharing for 30 minutes on, on Zoom. Um, we have some very, very important things to share with you because um, the meeting um, finished tonight, uh, finished today at Kings Park, and there were some very important things that we dealt with. And um, I just want to share um, two key things that came out of the meeting. Um, one was um, the, 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 the prayers on King Charles, and um, the second was the matter of um, the, what the Spirit of God is saying to the church. And we had a number of prophetic words, prophecies coming forth, very, very, very clear from different, um, from different people saying the same thing. And, and to that effect, we are going to share with everybody on this platform a responsibility. So you are here not just to um, uh, attend a Zoom meeting, but you are here to hear a word from God. We believe this is a word from God, and we're not, we're, not, we're not putting this on as an event. We're putting this on as in obedience to what God is saying. And so if you are, if you are here and you're a prayerful person, you're part of a prayer team or prayer church or praying church or prayer ministry, then you are in the right place because the Lord has been speaking very, very clearly and very, very strongly with the prophetic and praying um, um, stream in the United Kingdom. And basically what he's saying to us is that we need to fill our horns with oil and we need to go into our towns and cities and we need to anoint those who God has called. And what I mean by that is we need to fill ourselves with the Holy Spirit and we need to go into our towns and cities and discern those that God's hand is upon in our churches, in our towns and cities, and in our, in our communities. And we need to encourage these people to get on with organizing and mobilizing the church to preaching the gospel. And the first assignment that the Lord has given us is Pentecost. So many of you know that Pentecost is the, the Greek word for the festival of harvest or, 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 the, or, the, or the feast of weeks in the, in, the, in, the, in the Bible. And basically the reason why God launched the church at the festival or the feast of weeks is because he was announcing prophetically that it was time for harvest. And we believe that God has said to us in this meeting, very importantly, that it is time for harvest it's time to go. It's time to, no matter how young we think we are, even if we don't think we have any titles, God is saying to everybody that is on this platform that is going to give you grace to speak to your barracks, speak to people who have leadership skills, people who are, who are, who are filled with the spirit for them to organize something very important. Now, yesterday I said I was going to share with you what exactly we're going to do. On Pentecost Sunday, all of us in unison, from our high streets, shopping malls, uh, town halls, um, train centers, or key public locations in our town, in our village, in our community, in our city, we are going to gather with a hundred 
200, 300, 15, 20 other believers from across the church. And we are going to prophesy and we are going to pray over the city. We're going to pray over the community. We're going to pray over the village, over the town with one voice. And this is what we are going to do. So I'm going to share my screen with you so that you, 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 we, you get all the information. And this is going to be shared by Adam from, from Thursday upwards after we, we share this with everybody. Um, the, the, the spirit of this is that we need to go back to Pentecost and bring the light of the gospel to the church and to the people. And, and what the Lord is saying is that everybody on this platform, everybody that is prayerful, everyone that has the spirit of God in them across the whole of the British Isles, from the Orkney Islands and Hebrides to the, the Isle of Skye, Aberdeen, um, um, Edinburgh, Glasgow, um, across to um, um, Northern Ireland and, and, and the Republic of Ireland in Dublin and, and Belfast across Ireland, and to the Isle of Man from the north of England, from York and Liverpool, Manchester and Birmingham, and right down to, the, to, to East Anglia, to, 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 to the south coast and Exeter and Plymouth, the Isle of Wight and Dover and London and, and Cambridge, across all of the towns and cities of, 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 of the nation, we are going to gather at 3 p.m. On, on Pentecost Sunday, the 28th of May, 2023. And exactly at 3.15 p.m., we gather at 3 p.m., give everybody time to gather. And by 3.15, we are going to gather in a town hall, outside, outside a town hall, in a shopping mall, high street, a train station, or a key public place. And this is the hymn we're going to sing. And this song was, was, was written um, by uh, uh, Andy Flanagan and, um, and Noah Robinson and a few others. And it's a hymn we believe needs to be, to be it's, almost, it's a prayer. It's a prayer and a prophecy. And basically we are, we, the, the words of, of, the, of the hymn is we seek your kingdom throughout every sphere. We long for heaven's demonstration here. Jesus, your light shine bright for all to see, transform, revive, and heal society. Before all things in him were all things made, inspiring culture, media, and trade. May all our work serve your economy, Lord, transform, revive, and heal society. Peace, truth, and injustice reign everywhere. With, with us be present in our, our public square. Fill all who, le who lead with your integrity. Transform, revive, and heal society. Forgive us, Lord, when we have not engaged, failing to scribe your heart on history's page. Make us again what we're made to be, transform, revive, and heal society. Faithful to govern, ever may we be, selfless in service, loving constantly. In everything, may your, may your authority transform, revive, and heal society. And then we will pray the Lord's Prayer uh, and that we all know and we would finish. So the, the spirit of this is almost like, like, it's almost like a flash mob. You don't need to get um, elaborate police permission or elaborate um, public liability um, insurance or elaborate um, um, permits from the council. Everybody gather in 15 minutes, we do what we need to do and we disperse. If, you're, if you want to do anything longer, the, and, you, and you already have something organized for Pentecost, please incorporate this into what you're doing because the church as one, as one body with one voice at the same time across Ireland, North and South, across Scotland, North, South, East and West, across Wales, North, South, East and West, across the Isles in, from Orkney Islands and Hebrides down across England, to, to Dover, to the Isle of Wight, er, across everywhere, we are going to sing over this nation and we are going to pray as one. And we believe that in accordance to the instruction by the spirit, it is opening a new day and a new dawn for the gospel to be preached 
The Holy Spirit is saying he wants to save souls. He wants to touch every, every, every community. And we, we've, we've, we've began to see this in Sudbury, where we went to, where there's, there's been a change in the attitude, in the atmosphere, people receiving tracts. In fact, some people gave some testimony in, in, in Northampton and Northamshire, where we were, that they went out recently and they were able to share and people were responding to the gospel, responding to tracts and people were hungry. So we believe that the, the, the harvest is white and the Holy Spirit is saying to us to go. And everybody on this platform, everyone within the prayer um, um, uh, 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 movement or, or prayer ministry or prophetic movement, we are going to be the catalyst and we are going to go and speak to leaders that we believe the hand is upon. Let them gather the people. If they don't, if they, if they, if they don't respond to you, find somebody else. Discern those who are open. Because we believe that God has prepared the hearts of leaders and people who are going to respond to you. And, and we are taking the church out of, it's a prophetic act. This is a prophetic act that the church has left the building. The church is outside. The church is where the people are. And the gospel is ready to be preached across the whole of these aisles. And we are going to see evangelists coming. We are going to see um, international and national evangelists suddenly decide that they want to come to, to England. They want to preach the gospel here. We're going to see evang evan evangelists and evangelistic churches and graces to reach. The, to reach. We have done this. We've, we've done social justice. We've done the food banks. We've done the street pastors. We fed the homeless. Now it's time to preach the gospel. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. We have, we have earned the right to proclaim the gospel and for this nation to hear the gospel in every town, city, village, community, and county. Hallelujah. Can we just unmute ourselves and let us just pray into this. Hallelujah. That the gospel shall be preached and that we will do this together oh, and that we will be oh, let it be Jesus name we pray Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to allow two people, just two people. I've not done this, uh, but I feel this is very important. It's important that we pray into this. I'm just going to allow two people to, 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 um, to, to um, highlight themselves, raise your digital hand, and just pray into this. Hallelujah. So that um, we, 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 we're going to do this. Hallelujah. Colin, Colin um, Wilkinson, you're, you're already... Um, can you unmute yourself and and then Andrew in um, the Upper Hebrides, um, um, the Shetland Islands? Yes, Hallelujah, um, Andrew. Um, I'm always assigning you to to the Hebrides. Sorry, Andrew. You can unmute yourself. You can unmute yourself, Andrew. Okay, are we there? Yes. Yeah, I've just been really studying the whole thing of Nehemiah, who got a vision for 
building. <laughs> and he went for the vision. He didn't hold back. And he prayed longer than it took to build the wall all the way around Jerusalem. And when that wall was built, the enemy could not get in and the fish could not escape. And I pray, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we would come together united as a whole body of Christ. And as we do that, Lord, you will pour out the blessing as it happened in the temple that when that happened, the glory of God came in, where the temple was complete, where a living stone in the temple, and then the river of life started pouring out from the threshold and brought life to everywhere it went. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. I've got, um, um, I've got Colin Wilkinson. Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Colin. Well, excellent. Lord Jesus, there, there is a world of need out there. We pray that many will have the courage to go out into the high streets, Lord, the shopping areas, where the people are, take gospel messages and just politely uh, say that there is a God who loves them and that he sent the Lord Jesus to be their saviour. Lord, we know that many will pass by and just say, I'm all right, thank you. But there are some, Lord, there are some who respond favorably. And we ask that you'll guide us to them and that they can be brought through to salvation, to a personal knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, give your people the courage to be out there uh, where the people are just like your son did uh, and blessing people out where they are. Give your people the courage, Lord, to be uh, amongst the people, Lord, sharing the good news of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we ask it in his name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Colin. Thank you very much for that. And um, we, we also prayed. I'm going to come back to this in a moment. But I also want us to pray. We prayed for King Charles. We prayed some serious prayers. And there were some special prayers that had been, had been shaped and formatted to pray for him. And we prayed that he would respond to the Lord and that he will not take his oath lightly and that he will be, he would, he would say and take those oaths um, from his heart like his mother did and that he would be a Christian monarch and he would not be a defender of Islam. He will not be a defender of other religions he will defend and uphold the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and under him that the gospel will prosper. And we, we prayed for him because that throne has been consecrated and prayed over. There's a difference between the office and the person. And the office is enshrined in, 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 in covenant with God. And if he doesn't align with, with the covenant of that of that throne and then he's going to expose himself he's going to expose himself to some serious spiritual backlash and we don't want that for him and so can we just unmute ourselves and let's just pray for our king our incoming king again hallelujah they just pray for king charles and if you're from the um, republic of ireland just pray the Thank <laughs> you. 
in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray hallelujah father we ask for your grace and your mercy over our king our incoming king charles the third we ask that you have an encounter with him like Saul, who became Paul, had an encounter with you. We pray that he will defend your kingdom and the gospel. We pray that that which he is taking on as monarch, as his role, he will live up to it. By all means, we can be open and tolerant to all peoples as they come in, but we pray that the time for this nation to have a Christian consciousness and for people who come into this nation to know that this is a culture, a nation built on the foundation of Christ and Christianity. It's time for that to happen. And Heavenly Father, we pray that the church will no longer stay private, but the church will go public with its faith. That on Pentecost Sunday, Heavenly Father, we will come out and prophetically prophesy, pray and sing over our towns, communities, across the length and breadth of these aisles. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you give us the grace to be bold and to move from the upper room to the pavement, from the prayer room, Father, to the public pavement, and that people will hear and receive the gospel in Jesus mighty name and the people of God said amen hallelujah I know we have limited time and um, uh, 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 we have some very limited time and so if you have any um, questions please send an email across to Adam but let me just repeat myself and because we're going to do this tomorrow we're asking you to bring leaders leaders pastors and leaders give them the link so that they can log on any leader in your city your town let them come on let them come to here because we're going to repeat um what we've shared with you and go into some more detail and elaborate detail um within the hour that we have but this is just a a taster and we will get the details out to everybody by email but the spirit of what we're going to do is that at pentecost sunday the 28th of May, we are going to be outside. We are going to be in every town hall or high street or shopping mall or uh, 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 real station or key public space. We are going to be there and we are going to sing together at the same time over this nation. And we believe that the Holy Spirit is going to trigger as a result of our unity and our prophecy and, and a new season, an open door for it, to, for it to become easy for people to get saved. In our universities, in our schools, on the streets, in our workplaces, on in our neighbors, everywhere, people are going to find it easy to speak to people on the bus, on the, on, the, on the train, people are going to be responding to the gospel. And so this is what we believe the Holy Spirit has instructed the church to do. So let us just walk in unity and in obedience together across the bridge. We don't know how many people are going to be involved, but we're just throwing it out there 
and we're opening the door for the gospel. That's what we're doing. So the prayer ministry is going to be forefront because we are like the prophetic um, um, voice of the church. Those who are praying, those, those in the prophetic ministry, they are going to be involved in this. And we're asking you to get involved with this in Jesus' name. Adam, is there anything I've missed out or anything you want to round up on? A hand over to I, I do, Pastor Jonathan, just to say it's a real delight to see people joining us tonight for the first time. So if you're new, welcome and thank you for joining us. Tomorrow night, we want you to call everybody you know to come and join us on this platform. And so, yes, you will get an email in the morning as you normally do with a link and the to the recording of this for those within our NDOPW family. Uh, please go back and watch and listen to again what Pastor Jonathan uh, shared. But also, I want to, in, you're going to get an email this evening. Before you go to bed this evening, you're going to, get, going to get an email entitled Back to Pentecost. Join us tomorrow at seven. And we want you to share that invitation because it will have the link. So people don't get confused about whether I can give my link out or to other people's link. The link that we need people to go and register to come and join us. You will get that email this evening. So please prayfully discern who you are being asked by God to come and join us on this platform tomorrow evening. We will be uh, both in the Zoom room, but also back live on Facebook and on YouTube. We're sending that email out this evening because we believe there's an urgency that there are people whom God is calling to be here on this platform tomorrow evening. So please, when you get that email this evening, please go and respond. Please share it with people in your prayer groups, your pastors, your leaders, those that you want to be there. And I just want to say one other thing, because I said this to Pastor Jonathan earlier. If you already are saying, yes, I'm in. Yes, I'm in. Reply to the email that you're going to get this evening called Back to Pentecost. Reply and let us know where you're going to stand and where you're going to join in at 3.15 on the 28th of May. Let us know where you're doing it, because we'd love to kind of keep a list of where people are doing. But I already believe, as I said to Pastor Jonathan, as we share this this evening, as we share it again tomorrow night, there are people already whom God is saying, I want you to be part of this prophetic act. So if that is you, I want you to send an email back this evening to say, we are in, in our town, our village and our city. And what I also want you to do is not just to, not just to say we're in, but we also want you to send us your mobile phone number because as a, as a, a team, we're going to be talking to those of you in different places because we believe that this is really significant. So please let us know. Please get in contact with me. Info at ndopw.com or reply to the email that's going to come your way in the next hour and a half because we're really excited as we go back to Pentecost. The PowerPoint that you've seen this evening, that's got the lyrics on it, that's got the link to the song, we're going to make all of that available in the coming days. We're also going to be sharing with you a video that you can share in your prayer groups and in your networks. We're going to release that in the coming days as well. So there's a video you can share in your churches. Please, please, please help us get the message of back to Pentecost as far and as wide as you can. And that's all I'm going to say for this evening, but I hope to see you uh, tomorrow evening. So Pastor Jonathan, as we come into land, would you lead us in the, the saying the Lord's Prayer together as a sign of our yes. unity as we journey back together to Pentecost? Pastor Jonathan, so Ladies and gentlemen, you. See, you to, see you tomorrow. And for all of you that were at King's Park or fasted, we want to thank you for being involved, for praying along, and God bless you. God is moving. God is doing a, a mighty work. And in the coming days, we're going to be unpacking all the things that God is saying to us. So let's share the Lord's Prayer together as we go. Three, two, one, together. Our Father. Father, <laughs> Bless you all. Bless you.